how to make a Celtic cross paracord necklace. If you want to learn how to make these beautiful paracord items, stay tuned because tutorial is just around the corner. Enjoy and have fun! Hello my friends, welcome back! I hope that you're all well safe and sound and that you're ready for yet another awesome paracord project. For today's project we're gonna use two separate pieces of a gold paracord and also the two separate pieces of a gold and black diamond paracord 550 and this small buckle for the ends of our necklace. So today we're gonna create the Celtic Cross paracord necklace. Uh, here you have the Celtic Cross in one color but we're gonna make it in two colors so you can uh, have a clear tutorial how to create this beautiful paracord item. So as you can see here this will be the ends of our necklace and we're gonna insert it into our buckles and before we start if you learn how to make this beautiful paracord bracelet I am wearing today the full tutorial you have in the top right corner information cards also down below in the description box of this video so that being said let's start First, we're gonna take one strand of a gold paracord, like this, and we're gonna put all the others aside, and we find the center of our gold, like so. So, when we find our center of a gold paracord, we're gonna simply cross the right side on top of the left side and we're gonna create a little bigger loop like this then we're gonna twist the right side so it will go under like this and then and with the left strand we're gonna twist it but we're gonna place it on top of the cord, like so. Now pinch it and pass it next to each other. So here basically we created a three loops. I'm gonna zoom a bit so you can clearly see. First, we cross the right side cord on top of the left one. Then we take the right side cord and we cross it, but this time the leading strand is going to go under itself and from the left side create a loop but on top of the leading cord, as simple as that. Now we're going to cross the left onto the right, but we're going to pass it under the right strand, so like this. Now from here we're going to do two more crossing, so we're going to take the little pinch here and then cross the right on top of the left one more time and pinch it again and again cross the right side on top of the left side. So basically we have the pattern look like this. Three loops on top and two more crossings to the end. Now we're gonna take the gold and the black paracord also pull it by the ends find the center when you find the center simply place this let me just zoom okay so we're gonna pull this uh, right strand under or uh, sorry through the loop so the gold and the black will be under this strand here and pull it through now from this end we're gonna simply take our left strand gold and the black and we're gonna pass it under this gold here then on top of the gold and the black and again under the gold so I'm gonna pinch here and then take the left strand and pass it under the gold on top of the gold and the black and under the gold so under over under like that 
now I'm gonna pull it a bit down so this right strand we're gonna pinch here and repeat we're gonna pass or place our right strand on top of the gold cords like so and with the left strand we're gonna repeat the process we did earlier with the left so under on top under under the gold on top of the gold and the black and under the gold once more so pinch here and then take the gold and the black left strand pass it under over and then under as simple as that let me show you now we're gonna proceed we're gonna take our right side cord and we're gonna place it on top of the gold cords and then we're gonna pinch it here on top of the gold cord loop we're gonna pass it under the gold on top of the gold and the black and under the gold here so pinch it and pass it under over and under And again, place it on top of the gold loop. Now we're gonna take our left strand gold and the black. I'm gonna pinch it here and we're gonna pass it under this gold loop, both gold cords. Now we're gonna pinch it here and we're gonna take our gold and the black and we're gonna make the pass on top of the gold under the gold and the black and on top of the gold so on top under on top now this side here was on top of this two so we're gonna take the gold and the black and we're gonna pass it here under the gold on top of the gold and the black and under the gold once more so let me just this left strand pass it under the gold now we're gonna return it from the back so it will pass on top of the right side gold and black and then we're gonna pass it under the gold once more so as you can clearly see here we took our left side gold and the black and pass it under these two gold cords here or a loop gold loop and then on top of the gold under the gold and the black on top of the gold under the gold on top of the gold and the black and then under the gold so this is basically the whole pattern of this celtic cross now we're just left to double the cords so we're gonna take once more the gold and the black cord find the center and then repeat the whole first step so we're gonna place this next to the first strand of a gold and a black and we're gonna simply follow the pattern of the gold and the black so on top under on top and now the left one under on top under now this strand here on top under on top
So when we doubled our cords, we're now gonna tight it. So as you can see, we tightened our cross, now we're gonna insert the ends of our cross necklace into the buckles. So from the back side of a buckle to the top, now we're gonna pull it like this and we're gonna create the snake knot on the end of it. So take the right side cord, pass it around the left side cord, like so, let me just zoom a bit. So the right side cord around and from the back to the right side again. Now we're gonna take the left side cord and we're gonna pass it from the back around and we're gonna pull it through this little loop here. So let me just pinch this and then from the top into the loop and now we're gonna pull the two ends and here we are, our snake knot is finished. So our Kelty Cross Paracord Necklace is finished, I hope that you like it. Here you have the one made in one color and a little bit bigger and slightly bigger and this one in two colors. So if you like this tutorial don't forget to give a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and the family. And if you have any questions, suggestions or something like that, feel free to leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that being said, until the next time, stay safe, be well and see you soon. Bye!